In order to gain true freedom, we must outsmart ourselves. Americans have been taught that they're the richest country in the world. But since I consider health wealth, I don't exactly agree with that statement. The health of the people of the land is a reflection of the certain conditions that those people are up against. We may have a handful of people that are healthy, a handful of people who are not in prison, and a handful of people that haven't died from preventable violence, etc. But majority rules, and what we have here is the lack of interest in things that would benefit us the most. We are too distracted and occupied with a false sense of happiness. And is it in love with, and is in love with instant gratification? Ever heard of delayed gratification? If not, Google it. It will be worth the time. There's only one thing that I can suggest that you fear, and that is knowing and applying things that will do you more harm than good. Money can solve problems, and money can also create problems. It's all about how you spend that money. What we have to do is get nourished and get off of our these drugs, legal and illegal. It may be easier said than done, but know that it's not impossible. This war is about control. And the most environmental friendly way to control a person is to brainwash them into controlling themselves the way that you would like them to, which may not be the best for them, but the tactic obviously works. So we're speaking about environmental friendly control. Most people don't have an interest in this, but there should be some type of interest in your environment and what you can do to make it better. Some things may seem boring, but we must gain an interest in them for optimal existence. Okay, we all have to die from something. Why should we be, it be self-destruction? And it's kind of difficult to control an addiction that you're not aware of having. So we're gonna go into this environmental study. Vehicle parts, transmission fluid, gasoline, oil, etc. All have a longer shelf life than that of food. People have to eat every day. And the less active people are, the less food will be consumed. If you take two kids that are the same height, weight, and age, then feed them the same amount of food and assign them to two different activities, one play basketball and the other play video games. The kid who played basketball will be ready to eat before the kid that played video games. So the use of transportation has a connection to the amount of food that we have access to and how much food is supplied. An increase in the demand for food will put a strain on the food supply that's somewhat in troubled waters already. So like I said, it's partially about keeping a person from being physically active. All sex and masturbation is more energy efficient than sexual intercourse. Outside of land, people are the ultimate resource. Going green, going green, isn't exactly about saving us money, it's to keep the economy alive so that the system can stay in harmony with the laws of nature as much as possible. And that's a little bit of my take on the Going Green movement. It takes more coordination, more coordinated operations, more manpower, more land space, more water to feed a raw vegan city than it does to feed a city full of processed people. If 
you can imagine, one prison with 1,200 12, inmates. With 100 men dormitories, each dorm has two televisions, two chess boards, two sets of dominoes, two mop buckets, and one mop, one broom, paint on the walls of one room, five sinks, five toilets, four tables, just to name a few of the resources, in prison. All of these resources are shared by 100 men in each dorm. If we were to free all 1,200 of the inmates, each one would require their own land space and the above resources that I just mentioned. So, it is more resourceful to accommodate a prison population and to sustain a prison population than it is to do so with a so-called free city population. It's just simple mathematics. Less stores, less police officers, less landscaping crews, less doctors, less hospitals, less cooking and eating utensils, less basketball courts, less exercise equipment, less trees having to be cut, less libraries, less dumpsters, less wash interiors, less guns, less pepper spray, less light bulbs, and that's just to name a few of the resources that will be conserved just from creating large prison populations alone. There are more drug dealers on the street corners than there are drug lords. That's the reason why they choose to go after the street pushers, because it's more of them to fill the prisons. The prisons are necessary for the system to remain environmental friendly. So, are there any objections? Is there a way to have an environmental friendly system without looking, without locking people up in prisons? People in the so-called free world tend to buy more resources than what they need, such as toilet paper, food, clothes, big screen TV sets, which use more oil to make them smaller sets. Lots of people just spend money on things that they don't really need at all. But if these same people that wastefully use resources were locked up in prison, they would hardly have no choice but to be resourceful and friendly to the environment. So should we go green just because we are more of an asset to the system by being more friendly to our environment. This is the only system that man could come up with to help him explore space and to make the space age possible. But that's another story. Also, when a male and female gets married, it's more resourceful and it helps to sustain the system. The couple shares land space. They share the home, they share the washer and dryer, they share the stove and refrigerator, they share the toilet and bathtub, they share the carpet, the paint on the walls, the pictures, the bed. You should get the picture by now. So marriage also helps to sustain the system. People also gather at churches, movie theaters, clubs, bars, sporting events, concerts, friends' houses, gambling casinos. And this also helps to conserve energy. Is the system fair and does it offer the same benefits that nature's system offers as far as physical health, mental health, spiritual health, and to be able to be surrounded by non-aggressive and compassionate people? Is the system friendly to us?